This video is to show how to prepare and uh, photograph uh, using just tools with, that come with Corel for uh, engraving on a Versa laser. Um, to start, I've got Corel 5 here, and I'm going to select um, a new blank document. Um, I'm going to set this up for a Versa laser 2.30. So I'll set my width to 16 inches, my height to 12 inches, which is the size of the working area on a 2.3. So my primary color mode to RGB, that's very important, and my rendering resolution to 500. We'll leave everything else the defaults and then select OK. That starts a, uh, uh, that opens a drawing with the working area set to 12 inches high by 16 inches wide. Next we're going to import a photograph and I'm going to go to pictures and uh, let's pick a picture out of my Christmas folder here and we'll get a shot of my wife there. So we'll set that <coughs> and I need to adjust this so that I can engrave it. So I'm going to right click and select edit bitmap. It'll open the picture in photo paint. And let me just go ahead and resize the window there so it'll fit. We'll set this to fit and then I'm going to set the job, I'm going to set the image up so that I'll be able to uh, work with it. To do that first I want to resample the image. And I want to resample it to 500 dpi. And I'm going to do this to be um, uh, a small photo. So we'll set it to 3 inches wide. Once you'll set it to 2 and a quarter inches high, select OK. That resamples the image. Do this to fit again. And then I need to turn it into a black and white or one bit image. So we'll go back to image and we'll convert it to black and white. Uh, there's several half toning methods here. You see the default one is half tone, which gives us an ordered pattern. Not very nice. Um, one that works very well is Stucky. And you can see the um, it's a more random distribution. Uh, zooming out, which is what I'm doing now, doesn't really help very much because as you get further and further away from the one to one, uh, from one to one, um, the image looks worse and worse. Um, bringing the intensity down a little bit uh, usually helps to improve the contrast. So bring the intensity down to around 60 or so and select OK. And that's the image. It always looks kind of bad on the screen. But if we zoom in a little bit, we can see that we've got pretty good contrast and we're still retaining, still retaining some pretty good detail. This wasn't a very good picture in the first place, but it shows us kind of what's possible. Okay, and we'll select Finish Editing, which will save it back into Corel. And we'll go ahead and close Photo Paint. And there's our image in Corel. We'll zoom in on this a little bit. I just want to put a little bit of a border on here, and it doesn't have to be much. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to put a 1 8 inch border. The picture is 3 inches by 2 and a quarter, so a 1 8 border would make that uh, uh, 3 and a quarter by 2 and a half. I'll select my object coordinates docker here, and we'll pick the upper right corner for the for the rectangle. We'll set our X to 0, our Y to 12, which puts it up in the upper left corner, which is where we want um, images to be. And we'll set our width to 3.25 and our height to 2.5, which gives us a nice border. And we'll go ahead and create that. We want to round the corners a little bit because it always looks nicer to have the corners a little round, rounded. So 
So we'll give ourselves a little bit of corner rounding, maybe 0.15 inches. That looks good. Okay. <clears throat> I want to set this. I want to set this so that it'll cut. Because I want to cut that out, so I'm going to go to Object Properties, hair, uh, set the outline to hairline and set the color to the color named red. And you can always check that by selecting the other option. Make sure you're using the RGB palette right there. The color scheme is set to RGB and the color that's named red should be pure red. So 255 on red, zero on green, and zero on blue. Select OK for that. That'll become a cut line for the Versa laser. I want to pick the picture, and with snaps turned on, I want to pick up the center of the picture, and you see when I get right up to the center, how right around there, the word center appears, but it's kind of obscured by the bitmap. I want to make sure I'm picking up the center, so that I can drop it on the center of the rectangle that I've created, and give me a nice border, picture nicely centered. We'll select all of this and I want to move it a little bit away from I want to move it a little bit away from the uh, uh, from the corner there so I'll drag it out here so snaps don't get in the way and I'll drag it back so I've got it just a little bit away from there and that makes sure that I'm not that makes sure that I'm actually cutting all the way around instead of using the instead of using the edge of the material we don't want to use the edge of the material if we can avoid it Okay, so there's my job all prepared for printing. To actually print it, I'll just select File and Print. And then go to my Versalaser Preferences. And set up the job. Select Print. And there we are. 